Hey, what is going on everyone? This is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 15 secret iPhone features that you probably didn't know about. These are mostly like new features that you can find on iOS 13, but a few of them can be found on older iOS versions as well. These are very, very helpful. And of course it will make your life easier using your iPhone on daily basis. So here are 15 hidden iPhone features that you probably didn't know about. Now the first one is a feature on Safari that most likely you guys didn't know about. So when you go to the tabs view on Safari, you have of course your tabs here. Now if you want to take a peek at one of them, you can like force touch on it and it will show you like a preview of that tab. So just force touch like this and you can take a look at the tab and of course you can release it to go back to the tabs view. So just tap like that, it takes you to this preview and you can take a look or you can force touch even more to go ahead and open that tab on full screen mode. On the calculator app, of course, you can tap the result right here and hold it and you can go ahead and copy the result. But you can also use the gesture that Apple has brought to iOS 13 to copy your calculator results. So you can see right there at the top, it has copied. So just pinch in with three fingers and you can quickly copy any result on the calculator app. Now, of course, you can also paste. So if you want to paste anything, just spread your fingers like this on the screen and you will be able to paste anything on the calculator app. If you have Face ID or Touch ID enabled on your device and on any case you want to just disable them quickly so any emergency like that you want to quickly disable your Touch ID or Face ID so you don't want to unlock your iPhone just make it unlock with the passcode that you have entered of course you will have to enter first the passcode in order to enable face id or touch id then you can quickly disable your face id and make your iphone unlock with the passcode simply by pressing five times on the power button one two three four five and then right here just click stop calling it will take you to your lock screen and your device will be locked and you can see right here it won't allow you to unlock using your face id you will have to enter your passcode in order to basically go enter your iphone so you don't have to use face id to enter your iphone you can do the same by simply tapping and holding one of the volume buttons and the power button as well so just tap and hold both of them it will take you to the screen and once you tap cancel right there you can see it will take you to the lock screen will lock your device and will disable face id of course the same can be done for touch id as well on the new photos app on ios 13 if you go to your photos and you go to the photos section right here go to the days view you can see right here i'm on saturday if i tap those three little dots right there at the top you can see that now i can tap play and what this will do is that it will create like a mini movie out of those photos that I, that i took that day so you can see right here it will go ahead and create that movie and of course it will like add like a sound there and it will show all the videos and the photos that i had saved that day so it will create this like cool mini movie automatically for me directly from here and if i tap the share button of course i can go ahead and save it as a video as well on the iMessage app, when you go to the list of the messages, you can 3D touch on any of the messages and it will show you right here a preview of that message. And right here you can also go ahead and quickly respond to any text you want. So you will have like your quick responses right here and you have custom as well. So if you tap right there, of course, it will take you right into the app from where you can go ahead and reply that person. Now, if you want to send a picture on iMessage, of course, you can take a picture from here. So when taking a picture, you can go ahead and tap on effects. And right here, you can add like different filters to that picture. You can go ahead and add like text. Any text you want can be added right there on your picture. Of course, you can just go ahead and enter any text you want as easy as that or you can even go ahead and add like different stickers your memojis and emojis all that stuff all that can be added to any picture that you take on your iMessage once you have done that just click done right here and you will be able to send that with all the edits that you just did so add any filters add text add like the memojis and emojis all that stuff and then you can go ahead and send the picture on iMessage
on iOS 13, when taking a screenshot, you can quickly share it directly from here. So you will see this little preview right there. All you gotta do is just force touch on it and it will take you to the share sheet from where you can go ahead and easily share the screenshot. Of course, you can copy it, you can send it anywhere you want. And of course, you can also save it to the files directly from here. So anytime you wanna share a screenshot, all you gotta do is just force touch on it on the preview and you can quickly do it. You don't have to go to the photos app in order to share your screenshot. On the Files app, there is a really cool way to organize your app so that you can quickly find them. You will see on the browse screen right here, you see tags. So if you tap on one of the tags, it will show you files that have that tag. So you will have different like stock tags that are with different colors and you can add your own as well. So if you go to file, so let's go ahead and find a file right here. You can force touch on it and you can go ahead and tag that file. So you can add a new new tag right there or you can just basically choose one of the stocks here. And then if you go to the browse screen right here, you just go ahead, tap on one of the tags and it will show you all the files that have that tag. So you can quickly like find different categories of files that you categorized based on different color tags. Now, if you have a picture on the camera roll of your device and you want to know basically details regarding that picture, you can go ahead and save it to a file. So what you can do is just go ahead, tap the share button and just go ahead and save that to the files app. So let's save it on the downloads right there. And now go to the files app. Let's go to the downloads. Let's find that picture that I just saved. And once you find the picture, you force touch on it and you can go ahead and tap info. Right now, what it does is that it will show you all the detailed information regarding that picture. So you can see everything is right here from the like date created to the size, the like type of the image, and of course the resolution and all that stuff. Now on the home screen of your device, you can tap right here on the corner to move between pages. I have shown you this trick before, but when going back, you can also double tap right here and it will skip two pages. As easy as that, you can quickly go. So like if you're on the second page right here, you can double tap and it will take you directly to the widgets menu right there. So you can see now it doesn't work that well for going forward, but if you want to go backwards, just double tap right there and it quickly skips two pages. You can ask Siri to play any live radio. All you gotta do is just open Siri, play Beats Radio. And it will start playing radio as easy as that. So you can see, just ask Siri for any radio that you want and it will start playing right away. Now, if you want to scan documents, you can do that with iOS. Of course, you can do that from the Files app or the Notes app. But there is a quick way to start scanning a document. All you got to do is just launch the Control Center, force touch on the Notes icon right there, tap Start the Scan Document. It will quickly take you to the like section right here where you can go ahead and scan any document that you want. Now with iOS 13, Apple has added quite a few new gestures to iOS. You have the three finger pinch in and pinch out to copy and paste, but sometimes that's difficult to do. It's like on a screen, there is a keyboard or something and you will trying to do that, you will tap somewhere else, but there is an easier way to do that. Just place three fingers on the screen and you can go ahead and just spread them like this and you will be able to paste or just do them like this and you will be able to copy. So just go ahead and place your fingers here on any place, swipe like that and you will be able to paste. You don't have to do it on the complete screen. You can just do it on an area right there. Just paste just like this. So tap with three fingers, go ahead, swipe them and you can easily paste just like that. Of course, you can do the same to copy. Now, of course, there's the old trick. You press and hold the space bar to move the cursor anywhere you want on a text. With iOS 13, now all you gotta do is just grab the cursor. Basically, just tap on the cursor, grab it, and you will be able to basically place that cursor anywhere you want on the text so that you can go ahead and easily edit the text. You don't have to do that anymore from the keyboard. You can simply do it directly from here. Just grab the cursor and move it anywhere you want and place it anywhere you want on the text.
So that's basically it for this video guys, these are 15 hidden tricks that you can perform on your iOS 13 device. As I said at the beginning, some of them are available as well on older iOS versions like iOS 12. So I hope you guys learned something from this video today and I hope you enjoyed it as well. So make sure you leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, also don't forget to leave a comment and also don't forget to tell me any new tricks that you know on iOS 13, leave them right down below in the comment section. So that's basically it, hope you guys enjoyed the video, I will see you on the next one.